It's Zach Sang and the gang. You mentioned brothers. You don't have any, but you do have a sister. I do, who's incredibly talented. Well, how's your family? Because I remember the last... Uh, uh, not the last time, but like the last time we were actually talking, y- you're you're like the nicest dude when it comes to your mom. Yeah, like I think you were getting her a new kitchen or a new ha- a house or something. Like yeah, I mean, something big was happening. It's still being built. R- really? So it's like the nicest, a uh, nice thing on the planet. Like the idea behind it. It's like I'm gonna buy this old house for my family and do it up yeah. and make it into like the house of their dreams and stuff like that. Um, until you realize that you've put your poor mum in this house for three years amongst like builders and like rubble <laughs> dust, walls being knocked down. And she's like, she's just, she just looks she just <laughs> drained because um, she's dealing with builders all the time, like people not showing up. And I was like, the intention was, was for there. it to be so nice. Um, but I probably should have just bought a nice house, really, <laughs> instead of like turning it into something. But you know what? I'm really happy with it. Um, it will be worth it at the end, you know? Oh, completely. And it's so nearly there. Um, I probably speak to my mum more about building work than I do about anything else, <laughs> uh, which I suppose is nice. So we're not talking about work all the time and, and, and whatnot. Um, but it's. I had a very excited text for the other day um, being like, we have a garage door. And I was like, <laughs> wow, that, that's, <laughs> that's your highlight of the week. <laughs> Amazing. It's huge. Why not? <laughs> How are they? Are they supportive? How do they vibe with all of this? I mean, they are unbelievable. Um, I, I come from a very musical family. Yeah. Mum's a music teacher. Um, she teaches clarinet, saxophone and flute. Um, and her and my uncles uh, are all very musical. They all play professionally. Uh, my granddad um, used to play for like Tony Bennett, Ella wow. Fitzgerald uh, on piano. So he was the most gifted musician I've I've ever seen in my entire life. He played piano with four fingers. I mean, it's like he's an absolute legend. Um Wait. And yeah, like That's crazy. Not a dog bit off his thing his finger. Stop. So he taught himself how to play piano again with four fingers. Wow. And I and I Holy think shit. where I get uh like the drive from. Of course. Um so I think it's kind of in my blood to it be makes very sense. ambitious and driven. Um wow. but my sister's incredibly talented. Um, she's going to have such a crazy career and then I'm going to be slightly jealous. But I'm going to be like, She's okay. a singer as well, right? She's She does everything. Okay. Um, whereas I kind of just focus on music and, and like songwriting and singing. She can kind of do everything. She can play piano better than I can ever dream of playing piano. Uh, she can dance, she can act, she can sing. Like she wants to go into like West End and Broadway and stuff like that. Oh yeah, she's yeah, she's such a talent and she works so hard. Um, and it's so weird. She's at that age. She's like nineteen, so it's like it's 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 that age where she's growing up yes. very quickly. Uh, and there's boys around, and it's like <laughs> I'm like coming back. I'm like, who's this? Um, <laughs> And I'm like turning into such a protective <laughs> older brother. I'm like, I'm vicious when you, I want to be. Yeah, you're now confrontational and you're now ready to defend. Oh, no, but it's very passive aggressive. It would just be like, <laughs> hi. But oh, wow. Oh, that, that's, that's, yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. That sent a message, though. I mean, it's lovely. It's, uh, yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, it's, it's all <laughs> in the good. look. I mean, obviously on radio, this is, the, the, this the, is a terrible story. His eyes cut through um, me like a yeah. knife going through but butter. It, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's vicious. <laughs> like, it's, but it's, yeah, passive aggressive. It worked. But thanks. It really did. And if you, if you, guys, honestly, if, you, if you're listening, um, I'm sure you can picture me as a massive, like, scary looking <laughs> dude. Um, but I'm the complete opposite, believe it or not. Um, so, obviously, when these guys are, are around and I'm, I'm trying to be threatening, I just get laughed at, really. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, especially walking around the house singing Motown music. Um, so it's just, <laughs> hey, what can um, you do? Hey it's, hey, it's you, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, that's it. Always be yourself. Yeah. How critical are you of things that you do and your performances? Because I heard you over there, like, you, you can dissect music. Like, you can really take it apart and yeah. you know every aspect of it. I'm the biggest self-critic on the planet. Um, like I will drive myself insane. Uh, I remember doing the X Factor in the UK and I got off stage and I went, how did it go? And everyone went, I mean, it was great. Couldn't have gone any better. I watched it back. I was like, yeah, that part in the second verse because I'm that better. 
and it ruined my night. And they were like, what's wrong with you? It's one word. And that wasn't even out of tune. It was like the way that you sang it, you didn't like, and that ruined your night. So I, I really let myself get into such a, a strange place because I think if you don't, um, if you don't criticize yourself, yes. you'll never get better and you'll never so strive right. to get better and, and make sure the next time you do it, you go, I've got to make sure I do that right this time. But it gets to the point where it could really cripple you. I've been there. Oh, yeah. Like it's like it's like it t- torn apart my brain. Yeah. You know, and it's it's hard. But you're yeah. right. That's the only way you evolve. That's absolutely. A- and I think if you have a if you're having a bad show, and you've you've got to better yourself. So yeah. Like I, I kind of, I, like shout on myself to focus. Um. And I'm I'm really really tough on myself. I remember like in New York, uh. But I I try and dig deep. Like the 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 show that I did in New York at the Gramercy. Um, which is amazing, like sold out in 10 minutes. So there was like all this pressure, like there was like a real like excitement with yeah. the, the fan base. And I woke up that morning and I was like, I didn't know where I was. I was like hallucinating. Um, I could have sworn I had a conversation with someone from my team who was currently in London in person. And I was like, I was on another planet and I was so unwell, I had this virus. Uh, and the doctor was like, if I was you, I'd cancel the show. And I was like, not today, not today of all days. My first US, no, I'm wow. not doing that. And I had my, my band across, so like all eight of them are kind of going, what's happening? Yeah. And we're like, we don't know. So I turned up to soundcheck. I basically got carried into soundcheck and then carried out of soundcheck and to the doctors. And he was like, I wouldn't do it if I was you. Like, I don't know how you're going to get through this show. Ooh. And then I, sl- I remember going to the venue. I slept for about an hour before I woke up half an hour before got changed did like a, a quick warm up got on stage did the show of my life uh, got off stage um, and then went to the journalist area talked to a few journalists nearly threw up over one of them and went and passed out <laughs> wow. wow and that happened and I was like I mean it's, it's just strange where you get that kind of it can come from you. Yeah, yeah it, it can come from somewhere when it's time. But I do believe that's because yeah. previously I haven't let myself, like I've kind of trained myself to not get like that and yes. not kind of give up on something. Wow. Because um, I'll always strive for better. And how'd the show go? Show of your life? Literally the show of my life. And I was like, how? And I remember doing the same in London. On There was like, I did like a, a run of shows across the UK because I wanted the fans to be the first ones to hear the music. Yeah. Um, and halfway through the show, my voice just went, nope, no more. That's scary. Yeah, that, it's gone. And I remember sitting down over and over again, and I'm like, do I transpose the song down a key? Do I change the key a bit? And 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 I was like, no, because I'll end up losing concentration and and start playing a different chord or something. So I changed the whole melody of the song to fit the state <laughs> of my voice, <laughs> That's which was non-existent. Easy. And then throughout the show, I was looking at my tour manager. I was like, I need a steamer. I need hot water, honey. I need lemon. I need ginger. I need this, this, this. And I was yeah. putting out like, every trick in between songs wow. to get to this. And I was like, cool, in the sound mix, can we turn the BVs up a bit so I can do this, 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 to get this, 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 and then get that to that. So it was it was very testing. Uh, but it keeps you on my but toes, that, I think. But that's really impressive. Cool. Yeah. You were able to run that and you were able to handle that. Yeah. That's, in, that's extreme pressure. Yeah. It keeps me going. It's flawless. Keeps it exciting. Yeah, I was just gonna say it keeps it a little fun. Yeah, absolutely. It can get boring after a while. I mean, a little bit. Why not? You know. Yeah. Keep it fresh. Yeah, of course. You listen to radio now. Who do you want to work with? Because I feel like over and over again is gonna be a smash. I'm just letting you know. Oh, thanks. I I I hope so. One because (laughs) we we help make them, but two because I really I think so. I know so. Cheers, man. Thank you. Really phenomenal. Thanks. People are gonna want to work with you. Okay. Who do you want to work with, and what do you think of pop music today? I think pop music's in a brilliant place. It's yeah. very, very exciting at the moment. Um, I think the next like year mm-hmm. is going to be crazy uh, with all the albums that are just dropping from everyone. I mean, the Grammys next year are just is just going to be a no go zone <laughs> for, for, for just anyone who isn't like Adele, I, Beyonce, then- Gaga, Bruno Mars, Kanye. <laughs> I mean, it's like everyone's releasing music but is that what we're looking at like because uh, you know i just had that conversation the other day and it's interesting that you brought it up people are supposed to be releasing albums this year and there's like a lot of artists that Mm. you know they're really popular you know and we play them on the radio here yeah but they might hold off on releasing their album 
because one Adele is most definitely going to sweep. I mean, she broke. But then you've got Gaga and Beyonce, and you've got Katy Perry release an album. You've got the Rihanna album. It's like there's a lot of females this yes. year that's going to be releasing an album. So it's going to be like obviously the Grammys is the Grammys, and and everyone kind of looks out for that. Mm-hmm. But I think just for music in general, it's a very exciting time, uh, and there's brilliant, brilliant music being made. Um, and I think there's a lot of variety in music, uh, which which is nice. I agree with you. And I think there's like t- there's a lot of artists who do it all. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of the Charlie Poots and Megan Trainers and Nathan yeah. Sykes of the world. They're coming up, you know, people who can write, perform, sing, yeah. produce. They do everything. Absolutely. And it comes from a really genuine place. And you can tell. Yeah. And, and I think, um, yeah, I think it's a lot more, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a lot more transparent yeah. um, these days if if you kind of just let other people do it for you um and you kind of just front something what do you think of the new rihanna single have you heard it work not yet i haven't heard it my twitter blew up like, yeah. the other night and i was just like oh, okay i need to hear this like um, i could play yeah. it for you if you want before you leave yeah it's like you can judge for yourself okay you judge for yourself what do you think i think it lacks completely oh, okay and i think it was a it was a it was a weird attempt at something that never really totally came into fruition oh really yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have to hear it. I I like bitch better have my money better than I like this. That's almost correct. That video. I thought it was right. <laughs> I thought it From was a creative point of view. <laughs> I was like, that's that's crazy. I thought it could have like, been a much bigger hit than it was. Like it should have been. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a bit of a crime that it wasn't a, a bigger hit. I agree. Um, and she's fun as well. That's what I love about her. She just does not. Care. She truly uh, doesn't care. Zero. It's amazing, <laughs> uh, and I, I think more people should be like that, really. Yeah. Um, but it's I don't know. It's it's just fascinating to see what she can just keep on coming up with. Um, and there's a lot of people, especially on the creative front, that's that's really taking control of that as well. Because yeah. I think uh, the days are kind of going where where people are uh, kind of writing songs and then just giving it to a, a produce like a video director and being like can you make me a video? I think they're writing the songs and working on the songs and being like, so here's my idea for the video. Um, can you kind of make it come yes. to life? Which is why I love what I'm doing so much is because on all the videos, I've taken the ideas to the directors and been like, can you work with this? Can you see what you can do with this? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, cool, we can do it. It's that. very collaborative. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and that's what's exciting. It's like everything's kind of coming together. And I think with the labels, well, from my point of view anyway, the labels are, are getting more relaxed with that yeah. as well they're getting more collaborative uh, and and i'm very lucky the label that that i'm at global is just the best place to be it's 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 a big team it's a big family um and everyone wants what's right for music um and and it's it's really really fantastic that that they're so willing to kind of work with the artist yeah. and, and kind of accept their ideas and rare like it's but brilliant. it's needed absolutely yeah Album? Do we have Do we have a date? I mean, y- you hint. I I want to hear it all. Uh, we have. Uh, you have a rough time. Okay. We we're saying the fall. Which <laughs> Give me a season <laughs> that works. Yeah, that 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 works. Um, do the fall. Yeah, you the, know the fall. Time yeah. it after yeah, this Grammy around. round. Is you know a little yeah. strategic there. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure which side of it is going to come on. Um, because I like, obviously. Like, like obviously the the Grammys is is one thing, but you don't you don't want to kind of base yourself on the the Grammy. You got to do what's right for you. I of think. course. Uh, and and obviously it's it would be the most incredible thing and and beyond dreams come true uh, to to get recognised. But I think I think it'd be very arrogant of me to kind of be like I've got to put it here just just in case. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, so never I'm, know. you know what? I'm just gonna get on with with my thing. And if they if they recognise me, then obviously that's fantastic. And and if they don't, then obviously I'll, I'll just keep on working very hard and, and hopefully one day that they do. I feel like that's something that you acquire after being in this industry and doing what you've been doing for so long, right? In the face of no matter what, you just keep doing you, yeah, right? absolutely. No matter how <laughs> it can get, you just keep doing you and you don't stop. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got to do what's right for you and you've got to write the songs that, that you care about. And that's what I love about the label as well. When I sat down with the head of the label, Ash, Hi Ash. Um, he, I, ju- I just said to him, I just went, like, what, like, what do you want me to write a certain yeah. sound or something? Because at that point, I didn't have a clue what I was going to write, and he just went, write the album that you've always dreamed of making, and we'll support it. And I was just like, 
that's the best thing that I could ever hear as an artist. Uh, and that was amazing. Beautiful. And we end on that. We've covered so much. We have. It's a nice yeah. conversation. That was amazing. I mean, we had a few years to catch up for, to be Absolutely. fair. Absolutely. You know, it was yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You're going to perform for us. I'm beyond yeah. excited. Yeah, I'm going to go and warm up. I, I recorded a song last night that has several key changes and a 30 piece choir on each key change so i had to re-record each one so i was recording for 10 hours yesterday so Ooh. it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun vocal well, I think. <laughs> well do your thing warm up no pressure okay i just want to soak it all in like a freaking sponge my friend amazing <laughs> nathan it. sykes over cheers, and over man. again what a great dude cheers thank cheers. you just put your heart in my hands promise it won't get broken and uh, yeah, we enjoyed it. It was fun. We had a lot of fun on the first.